Good morning, everybody. It's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. Okay, you guys want to see what Happy Meal I got? Well, what I bought myself for Christmas. Or not Christmas. You can see what's on my brain. But, um, yeah, for my birthday. I'm going to get, I'm going to do something about this lighting in here. It's too bright. And I apologize. I'm going to try to make my head hide that. Well, the first thing I got was I bought a corduroy top with leopards. Is that not pretty? I need it. Let me change my view. Hold on. Okay. I had to change the view you get to look at the children's toys. Actually, my grandkids came by today and I got flowers and a birthday card. So a couple days early so because they'll be in school on my birthday. So let me see if this light. <sighs> no. <laughs> Let's deal with this. Okay. This is the first thing I got. I got a leopard top. It's darker than it actually looks. It's black. <laughs> with um with jeans for the winter this is this is my style it's corduroy the corduroy is thicker here than on the sleeves the sleeves are like slightly corduroy but yeah i think this will look great with blue jeans so yeah it looks really good on the model this is an extra large so I think it's an extra large. You know, I've been losing weight and <laughs> I'm kind of in between sizes. And of course it does not have the size on it, but I'm pretty sure I got extra large because my issue is I'm tall, like in here and everything, I like long shirts and everything is always too short. So, but anyways, I like that to wear with jeans this fall. And let's see what else I got. I'm one of those, I buy everything in fours and threes. I think this is some more tops. I've been, I haven't gotten everything in, I know. Never know, I might have. Yeah, I got two more. I got one in gray. And I got one in like a rose pink. And let's see what size I got. Extra large. Yeah, I got extra large. So I'll try one more on. I'm not gonna take the pink one out of the package. I'll try the gray one. I wanted to get a taupe one, but they, I don't think they had any of my size. Like a tan, tan taupe. But this is kind of a bluish gray. It's actually a, a baby blue. I thought it was gray. That's okay. Hang on. Let's turn on that light. So, but yeah, this will definitely go great with my denim jeans. And you know what? It'll match my shoes. Let me show you my shoes, guys. My new thing is blue jeans. Look, it'll match my shoes. I love it. And then this is another color. It doesn't match it, but I do have, hold on. I'm all, I'm all matchy matchy sometimes. Yep, this is going to match my shirt. Not exactly, but 
Anyways, I'm having fun with it. And then I've got the pink that'll match my white shoes. That is too cool, I didn't even know that. That worked out well. But yeah, so this is gonna be, you know me, I'm a blue jeans t-shirt girl. I'll wear a, um, I bought some new t-shirts. Um, actually, I bought some new t-shirt. I was gonna try to do a She's Got Yarn logo on, I gave it to Brinley, it's my Cricut. Um, but I can always use it. They've got it actually put in storage because they don't have room in the camper. And my kids broke ground, by, by the way. Um, the permits were pulled, everything was done, and they're actually digging the footers this weekend. And maybe I'll show you some progress on that. I'll have Tiffany send me pictures. She's so excited, yeah. Do you, you wanna know how much it costs to pull a permit to build a house? It cost them $8,000. Is that not ridiculous? I mean, it's a big house, but I don't think it's much bigger than mine. I think mine was like $800, but that was in 06. But to pull a permit, I don't know. I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. But that is part of my birthday haul. <laughs> and then, I'm hoping this is, I bought some earrings. I'm hoping this is earrings. And then after I get my sweater together today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it off the needles. I'm going to sew it together. Yes, it's my new earrings. Let's see, Alex Craft. These are, silver. I bought a pair of silver and I bought a pair of 14 karat gold. Um, I think they were plated. I wanted the real ones, but gosh, I don't want to pay that much because I'm so um, I'm terrible about losing stuff when it comes to earrings in particular. Well, they take this so well together I have to destroy the envelope. Maybe it's just a thank you card. No, it's my earrings. Oh, they're so much tinier than I thought. Look how tiny they are. Well, let's try them on anyways. See, I wanted something. Oh, that's why I keep buying on the internet, but they weren't that much. I think they were like, 27 bucks, but they're sterling silver. But yeah, I guess maybe I should start going with a little smaller hoop, but I'm like a kind of a fairly, I'm not an extremely large hoop girl, but I do wear, I like to wear oval hoops. So I guess I need to reword kind of small for me. Can I zoom in? No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not what I expected. So I'm sure the gold pair is small also, which is kind of a bummer. I don't know. They're in a bigger box and maybe they are bigger. I doubt it. Cause I think they thought they were the same dealer. But maybe not. Yeah, same dealer. They're gold. I have little hoops. That's bummer. But these look like they've got little pits in them. A little bit different. But yeah, what a rip off. <laughs> so misleading. I think the picture is bigger than the earrings. They're tiny. Look. My finger can cover them up. That's how tiny they are. So, but anyways, it's okay. <sighs> but that's all I have as far as a yarn haul. Um, so I'm gonna get back to my sweater. I'm gonna get it off the needles. I'm so excited. This will be officially my first knitted sweater. And I started in February. And it has been a major hurdle for me when knitting. I have frogged it 
knitted frog knit frog knit um, because I didn't know how to recover um, lost stitches and lately I've been hearing a rumor about a lifeline why didn't anybody tell me about a lifeline you know I probably could have been done by now because I have redone this sweater one the first panel like four or five times and um, but yeah but it one thing I can say positive about this this sweater even though I started in February said so March April May June July August September seven months ago working on it has created strong muscle memory when it comes to knitting and I never never that never clicked with me till I started knitting yeah I mean you, you just when you first start you're like oh my god I gotta count two knit two purl two knit two purl but after you get that muscle memory it comes natural you know and you can identify stitches and you know how to pick up drop stitches like you come back on a row and you're like oops I dropped something you can go back and pick it up which I think is pretty cool three or four rows you can you can pick it up now that I know how to do it um, just it's been a great learning experience this sweater so this sweater is very special to me and I'm really excited that I'm going to be done with it. Um, and I'm also doing a, I'm right now knitting a cardigan for Risa. Um, kind of as a thank you, it's a birthday gift. It's going to be a late birthday gift, but and it's also a thank you for all the kind things that she has done. She's given me and just random, a random act of kindness she's bought me beautiful yarn she sent me beautiful yarn she sent me incredible incredible handmade crochet hooks she um, has sent me knitting needle I mean and, and this is just an, an expression of of kindness from her heart to mine and I'm very grateful so, but anyways, let me get on this. I'm so excited because I'm going to get this sewn together today. I timed the rows that I've been doing because from the armpit up, the rows are longer because it's part of the sleeves, two sleeves and the chest area. So I timed one row of purling was like 14 minutes. So there's a lot of time into this and I'm not real fast but I'm not as slow as I was. So, so, cause the second panel came a lot easier to me, but I did this morning, my son came, I put it down and I started knitting and all of a sudden my rows look crooked and I had to, they call it tanking, but I had to go backwards and undo the, the stitches cause I did them on the wrong side. I, you know, I made a mistake. That's the thing about knitting when you, have to put it down in the middle of a row you run a really high risk of making a mistake you really don't need to put it down until you finish the row and here lately I've been making my dogs wait till I finish the row they interrupt me every two or three rows it seems like <laughs> nobody can pee together they all have to pee one at a time and there's five of them <laughs> so but anyways all right guys I'll be back to share I'm gonna model this baby Yes, I am. I'm so proud of it. So I'll be back.